A small group of Russian activists are fighting to keep the memory of the millions of victims of Soviet repression alive, one small steel plaque at a time. For years, leading chronicler Memorial International and its last address project has put up 1,200 plaques on buildings across the country. Mikhail Shenka is a coordinator in Moscow. Every plaque has an applicant. We don't invent names or our heroes. Public initiative is the basis of Last Address's memorial project. People order from us a placement of plaques in memory of their relatives, fathers, grandfathers. Each is engraved with the person's name, profession and their dates of arrest, internment, execution or formal rehabilitation. They memorialise one victim at their last home before they were executed or exiled, or left to die in a prison colony. But Memorial International's battle to commemorate lost loved ones has not been without difficulty. The institution was banned almost two years ago after more than three decades of painstaking work. President Vladimir Putin has sidelined those trying to research the crimes of seven decades of communism, possibly because comparisons could be drawn with his own suppression of dissent or blur the patriotism needed to drive his war in Ukraine. Some locals resent the plaques too. They feel they are at odds with prevailing official patriotism or say they are turning the city into a cemetery. Yevgenia Kulakova works for Last Address in St. Petersburg. After we have hung up the plaques, situations happen when they are removed. But fortunately, those cases are still an overwhelming minority. We have now installed 434 signs. According to the last count, 45 have been removed. We're going to recount them soon, and there will be more, unfortunately. But this still means that most of the plaques continue to hang. Sometimes plaques are taken down, then secretly returned. Mikhail Polyanov's grandfather, career soldier Alexei Perimatov, has one. Shot on July 28, 1937, he was one of thousands accused of espionage and conspiracy at the height of Joseph Stalin's purges, the Great Terror. Polyanov feels the number of those against the commemoration has risen. Last year, Last Address replaced his grandfather's plaque because it had been removed without his knowledge. They hadn't told me anything because they felt sorry for me, because when I knew about it, I nearly collapsed. Memorial has long compiled lists of victims and collected private testimonies, documents from family archives, objects and works of art related to the Soviet prison camp network known as the Gulag. Last year, its archives, museum and library were thought to be the largest public repositories of such materials in Russia.